Okay, how to power a CC3D board for quadcopters. I hold the board this way so that the pins are here on the right side. Okay, and in this way you should use 3.7 volts, that is a one cell battery or let's say 5 volts. I have a three cell battery here and I will use either one cell from here. The first one is the positive the red one and the next one which is the green that's a minus so between the first two red and green we have 3.7 volts and we should use those 3, 4 or 5 volts on the middle pin and on the right pins any of them so positive goes to the middle pin and negative goes to the right pin and there you go, so the board is powered using the right pin, there's the negative and the middle pin, there's the positive. You can use any of these pins. Let's go higher, right and middle also is powered. Third one also powers it, fourth one, fifth one and sixth one. Okay, and you could use that one also. In this case this gives 11.1 volts, so 3 cells, not directly plugged in there because that will fry it or something like that. But using a, an s back which is like a transformer, it reduces the voltage. You can use as input between 6 and 36 volts and it will output 5 volts DC. Okay, and let's connect the positive to the positive, red to red, black to black. The s back is powered and on this end we have 5 volts DC and the same thing. Negative is on the right side and positive is in the middle. So let's plug in let's say there and it's working. So black on the right side and red in the middle. There's the CC3D controller port for quadcopters, planes, even cars. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.